Today's video is about how to overcome the fear of coding. It is for people who have started coding but have given up because either they find it too difficult or they find it impossible to master. I too was in your shoes when I was preparing for my placements. I had given up my dream of becoming a software engineer because I found coding way out of my league. But three months of hard work and consistency helped me get my dream job with a decent package. So watch this video till the very end to know how I did. Initially, when I started to code, I was uh, very clueless. Things looked way too difficult to me and it was intimidating. But the first thing that comes to my mind when I look back is that I had put in at least six to seven hours of practice every single day during my first month of preparation. I would cry because the sums seemed way too difficult and uh, then uh, I used to open my YouTube. I used to uh, look for those sums, understand what is expected and how am I supposed to solve those problems and then I used to code and later eventually with time I was able to think by myself and solve problems. Now I was um, not going to YouTube, I was actually using my own thinking capacity and if I still did not get the problem I then used to open YouTube and search for those problems. So the first thing is practice. No matter how difficult it is you need to put in the hours. A sum is taking more than two hours, it is okay initially you need to put in those time and set small targets and start with that don't think that you will be able to solve seven out of seven problems on the first day itself if you solve even three problems it is a good start practice was the only way by which i was able to make myself like coding and the next thing that comes to my mind is that to have a friend or a coding partner with whom you can have day-to-day -day discussions about things that they found difficult things that you have uh, come across in this way you have someone who will keep you accountable you will also have a healthy competition with them you can also push each other and help each other out when you have difficulties and um, the only way of uh, learning something is by teaching so if there's something that you are able to understand and your study partner isn't able to understand you can teach them in this way you are learning that thing better a friend of mine was my uh, study partner and we used to prepare for placements together we even held mock um, interviews for each other so that we are able to uh, practice for um, our future interviews we used to ask each other questions coding questions in a way that uh, how it is asked in interviews so that we can judge how fast we are able to think a solution and how much we need to practice more in this way you are um, helping each other out you are also coming across new questions after this uh, the other thing i did was to track my progress it is important to know where you are and how much work you need i used to use geeks for geeks and over there there is a tab which tells you how many sums you are solving each day and what progress you are making in this way you are uh, having a track of things that you are doing with each a week increase the challenges if you are solving three sums in the first week move to four then move to five in this way you are increasing your challenges and you are also able to cover a broader topic with each week the next thing that i've seen uh, myself doing and many other people who have started coding is to have high expectations and to uh, be unrealistic uh, while setting goals uh, coding is really difficult when you are starting it is as uh, similar to learning a new language to have expectations to be fluent in it immediately is very unrealistic so start uh, with minute goals and easy to achieve goals so that you are motivated to do that thing if you set big goals initially and you're not able to achieve them you will be demotivated and you will not be interested in um, carrying forward so initially i started with arrays and string and i uh, gave arrays around at least 10 to 15 days there were around like 40 problems that i solved only um, around arrays and i was giving myself good amount of time to understand each and every sum the topic that i found most difficult was recursion because it was um getting way too difficult for me to understand the little steps that is uh, there in each problem but i was literally crying when i was doing recursion but i was telling myself that i cannot give up and i went on youtube i searched for a recursion playlist and 
I was able to find a YouTuber who had put sums for that topic and I was able to understand it and I was able to understand recursion. So yes, uh, give yourself time because it will initially be very difficult and I'm not saying, I will not lie and say that it's going to be easy if you put in the work. Even after putting all the hard work, things will be difficult initially. But it is uh, you who have to tell yourself that it will get easier with time and with patience and with low expectations. Lastly, I would like to say that while preparing uh, for placements and for uh, while practicing coding, the thing that I neglected most was my mental health. I was working every single day and um, it wasn't healthy. I was uh, having a lot of mental breakdowns and as much as uh, it is important to uh, be consistent it is equally important to take breaks when you feel like it so don't uh, torture yourself and uh, sit for six seven hours uh, without taking breaks because it is not healthy secondly you need some distraction to uh, keep yourself motivated as well if you are into one thing for several days it will get boring and it will get um, demotivating so have some good distractions and do things uh, that you like and i hope this video motivates you to code again and it helps you in some way or the other if you are in a situation where things are difficult trust me with time you will it will get better because it did get better for me and i was one of you when i was starting my preparation journey so all the best to you and i hope this video has helped you in some way or the other if yes then please do share this video click the like button below don't forget to comment and that's it from this video i'll see you in the next video till then bye